Jim Bodges here at Halas Cafe. Jim, you've got a long history with the Greek Festival here in Indianapolis. You've been going as a kid. Uh, who took you to the festival the first time? How did you end up going? I know it was your church, but how did you get there? Uh, it was my father. Um, it was in 1974, actually. It was the very first time I went with my father and my mom. Uh, being with them, just a, being at a young age, looking around and seeing what was going on, you were, you were experiencing quite a bit of your own heritage. And what were their What was their involvement in the festival at that time? The involvement with the festival was basically um, uh, uh, the food-wise, as you know, so the uh, chicken, which we call cotta, and we had the potatoes, which we call patates, uh, and beans, as well as uh, a euro. We so they were really in involved in preparing the food for the festival. Very dedicated preparing the festival. Uh, we usually try to. I still remember the times when I was really young making the, uh, um, the shish kebabs. Yeah, we've got some of the we've got some of the, the Greek food that we're going to find at the festival right here before us. Tell us uh, what, what have we got here on these two platters. Well, when you find at the festival, you're going to definitely find the pork and chicken uh, soblaka we call them. It's actually uh, uh, shish kebabs, where it's, uh, uh, it's pork loin trimmed and cut and skewered. Marinated with olive oil, lemon juice, oregano, salt, a little bit of pepper, and of course you need uh, all Greek love yeah. garlic. And, and all those things are staples in all Greek cooking. That's correct. Right. All staples of all <laughs> Greek cooking as well too. Yeah. Good for I the think heart. Patty puts olive oil in her baklava. I'm not sure, but as you know, that's gonna be a new, uh, new experience for me on that. Which I might as well try that as experience. <laughs> what do we got here? And we also have here on this uh, platter here, we do have the moussaka, which is a it's more of a uh, eggplant um, uh, lasagna uh, type dish, which is uh, potatoes uh, sliced as well as ground beef and eggplant layered with a bechamel sauce, which is a, a it's more of a flour mixture, milk, cheeses, and a little bit of salt in there, thickening up one, uh, with the uh, all together combined to make a cream sauce off of that. As well as you have a stuffed grape leaf, which is a domatis, which is grape leaf itself. And we stuff with ground beef, rice, of course your spices, the, the uh, peppers and salt and the oregano and your wrapped up. And you boil that for a good uh, three hours because you want the, the, the meat to cook as well as the rice to cook at the same mm -hmm. time. But for the egg lemon sauce, which is basically uh, fresh lemon juice squeezed and egg mixture mm -hmm. mixed together and then poured over on the damata because you want to try to cut down on the taste of the damata leaf itself because it gets a little proper Yeah, because that one's an acquired taste. That's I mean, an acquired I love taste. it, but not everyone does. Everybody, but you should, everyone should try it. Everybody should try something That's right. different no matter what. That's right. Then you have your spinach uh, cheese pie, which is uh, uh, wrapped in fuel dough with a spinach and butter cheese with a little bit of spices in there, baked uh, in the oven. And you have your all your feta cheese appetizer, which is basically all feta cheese, no spinach involved, but there's uh, spices as well too. And of course, the most popular dish everybody knows about the Greek festival is the gyro meat. That's right. It's the gyro meat with, of course, your uh, tzatziki sauce, which is sour cream. Love tzatziki sauce. Cucumber, of course, the garlic. That's right. Olive oil and then lemon juice. Not enough garlic. A little bit of vinegar in there too. You need to have some vinegar in there as well too to give it a little taste in there. The garlic is always yeah, good for you. That's right. <laughs> and all of these are foods we're going to find at the festival and much more as well. There's going to be much all more. All the pastries. As well. Just kind of tell us a little bit about some of the pastries we're going to find. Uh, you will find pastries will be homemade baklava, which is like a walnut strudel. Uh, I call it an American version of a walnut strudel with uh, walnuts, phyllo dough, and quite a bit of honey. So not, it's not too fat. Right. Let's put it that way. You will also find uh, uh, chocolatina, which is more of a um, version of a uh, chocolate pastry with a little bit of uh, nice cream, uh, uh, cream in, the, in the middle of the, of the uh, pastry itself. And this year we're going to do for the second time this year a homemade rice pudding again. Ooh, that was good. Yeah. So we're going to do it this year for another uh, trial run, which everybody liked it last year. So they said they want to do more rice pudding this year. So we're going to do rice pudding again this year. And of course there's going to also be uh, burico, which is the custard pie. Mm -hmm. uh, I call it the cream of wheat with the filo dough. That's what I call it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's very good, of course, with the honey. And the mixture. Mm -hmm. Of course, less calories as well. So you can come to the festival and you can have dinner, you can have sandwiches, you can top it off with pastries. 
there's salads, you can get big meals, you can get small, small meals, meals, you can have sample variety. everything. Now, what if I'm thirsty? What's, what else is at the festival for me to drink? I'm going to have to wash this down with something. Well, there's always the most popular uh, beer uh, that we usually sell is the Kiel beer, which is a very popular beer. That's a Greek beer? It's a Greek beer. Uh, it's very good, very light. Uh, has a good taste uh, uh, to your taste buds, of course. And I think this year they're going to be also again Mikos beer this year again, which is very. It's more like a Greek lager. That's what I'm. Any wines or hard liquors for those people? Well, that might no drink hard those. liquor, but wine is good. Uh, with, uh, a good, uh, nice, dry wine they usually have will be the Macedonicos Red, which is more of a uh, a lighter version of Cabernet Sauvignon. They will have Greek Cabernet Sauvignon, which is the Hazy Macali, which is very good, dry at your palate wise. And of course, the most famous wine, of course, we will have there is the Ditsina, which mm -hmm. is that resin-based wine, which uh, you can actually break the bottle with. I don't think you should get out of church <laughs> grounds and, and dance around the bottle yeah. itself or anything like that. So obviously, this is one of the things that people come out for. We were talking with Tom Doney about this earlier, is the food, the fun, the entertainment. Now, Tom told me something, for as long as I've known you, I didn't know earlier, is that you're quite the dancer. In your, um, in, in your youth, I won't say in your younger days or in the day, but in your youth. Uh, a good 20 years ago. <laughs> I learned I learned from Tom Doney himself. Let's see, he doesn't want to say anything to anybody. That's right. That. So he's, he's, that. He's, he's my idol, he's my teacher. Yeah. See, we should be going, uh, he should be my uh, uh, agent for Dancing with the yeah. Stars. We'll do the Greek version of Dancing with the Stars. Yeah. He have, he'll have his tambourine and I'll just start doing the kicks after that. So, well, anybody that's watching this, you know, once we broadcast that hasn't been to the festival before, from your perspective, again, lots of history, lots of culture, lots of involvement from you and your family over here preparing all these meals. Why should they come out? What's the best thing about the festival to you? The, the festival is a great uh, experience wise to be out there. You're, you're smelling the food, you're smelling that, the happiness of all the great people that from our community come get together. They just enjoy it, they're happy with one another. Uh, the food is outstanding. The band is just tremendous to listen to the nice Greek music because it, it reminds you of being on the islands. When you're walking on the on the boardwalk, you'll sit there and try to think. If you ever, never, ever went to Greece, you'll see actually in front of your eyes what Greece is part about. It. Well, that's funny, because it is a really great place to people watch. I mean, this year, you know, Patty and I are pulling double shifts and pastries both days, so we're going to be tied up a lot doing that, but that's great. But I've all, in years past, I always see a lot of celebrities out there. Local politicians, local athletes, people that you see on TV and in the news. It, it just draws people from all walks of life. Because they enjoy it. They enjoy the Greek food, the cuisine, the atmosphere, as well as the history behind it. And as with Mr. Don saying about our church tours alone, just the walking of the church alone, I, I guarantee it will give you chills. That's great. Just to see the history behind it. Just to see the, the we call them the iguanas, the icons, to see Byzantine. What is, what is the, our religion wise, but you see history behind that as well as, you know, uh, and walk around to the pastries. With all the, everybody working with pastries, you see the uh, wonderful fattening pastries, of course, but it's, it's, but it's worth it. Everybody should deserve a weekend, go out there and, and then just enjoy it as much as you can because that is Greece, which you see in Greece. They're not, they don't have a, uh, the ocean next to us, but you're almost yeah. feeling that you're in Greece. You feel you're there. People talking Greek or having a good time, and people, uh, you see, I've, I've even noticed even people that go walk through the door, they'll start going to people that they don't even know from, the, from our community, start talking, having a good time, and, and that's the way our community is. We like to, uh, this is a big open party for everybody to enjoy and see our history, what it's all about. Well, and as Jim said, and as Tom said earlier, this year the, the Indianapolis Greek Festival, it's 35th year, the last year at its current location at 40th and Pennsylvania, that's on the northeast corner. That's on Friday, September 5th from 4 to 11, and on Saturday, September 6th from noon to 11, everybody come out, join Indianapolis. Indianapolis goes to Greece for the weekend and come out and party like the Greeks. Thanks, Jim. Thank We're going to eat this food you prepared. It looks wonderful. Opa! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>